For today's video, we will be shooting the 120 grain 6.5 millimeter nozzle ballistic tips out of a 6.5 Creedmoor. Go check out submoashooting.com. They sell these little sample packets. Might be able to save yourself some money in load development. First shot will be a reduced load simulating a longer range shot. And I'll flip my box and shoot a high velocity load. that one unless the core went further doesn't looks like the core at the side of the block and the jackets there we'll find out here for sure in a minute that one was traveling 1514 feet per second so they'll definitely operate down to that uh, 1500 feet per second range get a measurement of what I see going on here have that bullet starting to open up at about an inch and a half getting that better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark carried just past the 11 inch mark where the jacket apparently has separated from the core and we got permanent wound cavity here and a hole coming out where that core X did at 16 and a half inches and the leading edge of that jacket is about 14 and a quarter the larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is two and three quarter by about two and a half Nothing but jacket hanging out there. Definitely get with a little bit of energy there. 2,948 second. And we have it opening up instantaneously. Carrying decent pulmonary wound cavity right off the bat too. Just past the nine inch mark, tapering down, carrying some Decent permanent wound cavity too, just past the 14 inch mark with the leading edge of that bullet at 18 and 3 eighths. We have not 
quite tears on all four sides of our blocks, so we're between four and a half and five inches on that larger portion of that permanent wound cap. that time that core did not come out of that overall not a bad performing bullet I think they'd work really good out of a Creedmoor for something like uh, deer antelope but, you know, probably work okay out of a Grendel as well hope you guys enjoy the video